You want to see a mastermind's worst nightmare? Here you go. And then she turns. And then she goes. And there's another one. And then she gets it. And then she just keeps going. She takes out all the cameras. Because they don't stand a chance against Jan. She can clear out the entire room. No help needed. And what's the mastermind going to do? When every single camera that they have doesn't stand a chance. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 3, so make sure you check your game's library so you can download it for yourself. Today we come back to the very first character we ever made a video about, January. And today we're going to show you how to absolutely wreck as Jan. Jan was good in the beta, she's better in the full game. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my build, I'm going to tell you why we do what we do with our build, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in a real game so you can understand it for yourself in case you want to do this for yourself. And we're going over everything. January was the first person I made a video on, like I said, but we didn't know anything about the game compared to how we do now, and that was the beta. She was good in the beta, she's better in the full game. So let's go through her skills, and we'll talk about each one of them. So let's do her fever skill first. So her fever skill, or her ultimate, you have two choices. You can either make it so everything that the mastermind uses costs way more, or you can make it so they can't rotate their camera. Personally, I prefer interference because it makes it so everything costs way more, and if you're going against somebody that lays creatures down, I think you're going to prefer that over locking their camera rotation with camera lockdown. Camera lockdown is really good against Spencer because of his turrets, and then he doesn't really use that much in terms of bioenergy to begin with sometimes. But interference is going to hurt everybody no matter what, basically. Now for her active skill, she can either do instant or she can do lockdown. Either way, it helps her disable a camera. I've tried them both. I've come to prefer instant. Lockdown can be really cool for really holding a camera down for a long period of time. And it has a shorter cooldown of only 30 seconds. But I still prefer instant due to the mobility that it brings. Both of these skills allow you to double down on a camera you already took out. Lockdown does a little bit easier, a little bit more intuitively, but it's also just way slower. Something you can do with instant that I'm not sure a whole lot of people know about is if you shoot out a camera as Jan, while it's recovering, you can then use instant mid-recovery, and that'll reset the recovery bar on the camera all the way down. As long as you get it before the camera's all the way up and it has its shield on it, you can double down on a camera, which is a great way to lock down a cam that you need to have locked down on a choke point or an objective or something like that. The lockdown variation can do the same thing, but again, it's all just much slower. Now to look at her passives. Her first passive is Disruptor Rounds, and there's two options here. For this build in particular, it's going to be the EMP build. We are going to go ahead and do High Caliber because it's going to cause more damage to the cameras. That's how you're going to five shot a camera. You could have a Quick Draw or you could have a Matilda. Five bullets takes down a camera. I prefer the Matilda for an EMP Jan because it can keep going, and if for whatever reason you miss with two of those bullets, you're going to be okay, and it has a greater accuracy at a longer range, so Jan doesn't have to be right underneath the camera when she's trying to control them all. But the quick draw can get it done. Energy disruption? I'm not sure. We'll think about it. It sounds really cool, and I kind of want to make it work. We'll have to test it out in some games. Twitch.tv slash swingpoint is where we go ahead and we do all these builds and we test them all out. And then for her final skill here, called Cyber Monday, you have some options. So if you're at least rank 17, you can unlock Arsenal. She starts with Bargain Bin. Bargain Bin is what makes... Just about everything that Jan has in the armory cheaper, except for guns. And then Arsenal makes it so that you can buy special weapons. Now, I would say this is very situational, depending on how you want to play. If you're going to be somebody who's playing by themselves, perhaps solo queuing, I think Bargain Bin might be a better idea. Because then you can keep up on your ammo, keep up on your supplies, be the carry that you need to be, and fill in the areas that your team isn't necessarily filling. Like, let's say you need more grenades, or let's say nobody else is working on camera, so you need a lot of ammo. That type of idea. If you're playing with a group, I would absolutely go Arsenal, especially if you're playing with a Becca in your group. Because if you can buy a rocket launcher right at the beginning, it's awesome. And the weapons that you can buy are about 200 apiece. So not that bad considering they're a special weapon and you can give them to Becca. From what I saw, most of them are 200, some of them are 250. I know Spark Shots 250, ATMs 200, grenade launchers 200, miniguns 200. Maybe there's something I'm missing in there. But most of them are 200, some of them are 250. As for equipment, this is where the real power of Jan is going to shine. What you want to do is you want to put on EMP rounds 2 and EMP rounds 1. There is not a 1, 2, 3, it's just 1 and 2. And then for your extra slots here, 
If you're rank 21, you get all four of them. I'm only rank 17 with Jan right now, but we can still get the point across. For your third slot, you can do umbrella credits if you're going to go with arsenal. So you have enough credits to go ahead and buy a special weapon and then also buy other stuff to help you in the first area. You could go spray play here. You have a bunch of options. Or if you want to have the thing that makes it to use green herbs automatically, really the choice is yours. Either way, you got a lot of options here. The biggest thing is to make sure you have those EMP rounds. And the reason why we do these EMP rounds is that they combo up with her high caliber. I've said before in videos where if you have a character that has a strength, you want to double down on it. And that's how you make them really strong. And to answer some questions that I know are going to come up about this. If you are using a quick draw, it's five bullets. If you're using a Matilda, it's five bullets. If you go ahead and want to put on increased firepower, like where, where would we go here for this? It would be right here. FMJ rounds. FMJ rounds do not affect cameras. We tested it, we tested it, and we tested it. It doesn't matter. No point in having these on unless you just want to do more gun damage to creatures. And also, if you were a part of our streams, you saw that if you take a weapon and you focus it in, you know how the reticle can be big and then you can focus it down real tiny? You get a 50% damage boost to your shot when you do that, which is what makes Sniper Becca, a video I'm working on, really, really cool. But that doesn't apply to cameras. Unfocused reticle, focused reticle, it's all the same. Increased FMJ rounds here, doesn't matter. The only things that matter when it comes to cameras are EMP rounds and Jan's disruptor skill. Okay? Hope I got those questions out of the way because those were the big questions that I had when I was creating this Jan build. All right, so we're in a match here and we have a Becca, a Martin, a Valerie, and a Jam. My skills are going to be interference on my EMP, instant on my personal skill, high caliber on my first passive. You know, I have bargain bin selected, but I think for fun, let's go ahead and do arsenal so you guys can see it in case you guys haven't seen it on Jam. And then we're doing EMP2, EMP1, and umbrella credits wallet three for our passives or for our equipment, excuse me. Hopefully we do well here, chat, and I'll try to show you a few tricks with Jam. Rank 18, Annette. Oh, boy. Annette's scary. Annette's scary. <laughs> Especially if they run a Poisonette build and you're just sitting there choking this and coughing the whole time. I simply need to see what we can do here. Existence. So, we have a spark you. shot early. Mm. But... Ugh. I'm gonna go Matilda. If I would have had an ATM, I would have bought it. But I'm gonna go Matilda so I can really work on the cams. We'll see if it even matters. But you can see all the costs of everything are not where they typically would be for a Jan. They're much higher now. But I'm gonna get rid of this Mup here. <laughs> we have our one, our three, and our four. And wish me luck, I guess. Not lethal by itself, but it should buy me some The big thing with a net is you gotta stick together. Honestly, it would have been nice if we had a brawler. I'm kind of sad that Martin's using a gun. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm going to use a knife and then run into a trap. Great start for swing point. There we go. That's how you can really take care of some of that. And if she's going to be doing dogs and rifles and stuff, that gives me actually a pretty good opportunity here as Jan. There we go, just keep on the cams. See how she couldn't get a whole lot done there? Keep grabbing objectives, keep clearing up items. I'm gonna grab this blue herb in case she turns into a poison net later. I'm not hearing any poison coming out of them though, so she might not have a bunch of her other characters leveled up. You get poison injections or poison enhancer with Alex, you get region enhancer with Daniel. Whoop, and that's when Help, help, help. That's when... That's when Annette gets really good, is when she starts getting a lot of different enhancers. Oh, got something on my leg. The old crawler trap trick. Oh, well. All right, what do we got up here? Not doing anything there. Still got a zombie here. I'm off my feet. Need that ammo. Going into a different area. Let's go. So, yeah, we're doing a pretty good job keeping on our camps. She is a rank 18 Annette, which can be scary, but it also seems like she doesn't have anything else leveled up, like I said, which makes our job much easier. Much, much easier. A buffed up Annette is where she's really scary. Annette becomes really good when you play other characters, basically, and level them up. Here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got everything we need. Let's roll! And I'm just going to keep watching cams. Doing my part. Trying to make sure nobody can go ahead and get bit. 
I'm gonna grab this just in case anybody gets infected. But it looks like she's not even coming to attack us right now. So I'm just gonna take it and go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This worked out pretty well. And you got to see a little bit of the camera work there. Something I didn't get an opportunity to do yet is if I shoot at the camera and disable it with shooting it, I can follow up with instant, which is really, really nice. We get ourselves another gun here. And ooh, minigun. I'm kind of thinking about it. Miniguns are not good against the cameras, by the way. They're like really awful. I think I might save minigun. I'm going to save it for the end and see if I really want it. But what I am going to buy is I'm going to buy some flashbangs. Or a flashbang, I guess. And then just be ready. Because we know Birkin's coming. I have like no ammo, though. I forgot everything's way more expensive. I was expecting it to be cheaper. But nope, I forgot I flipped to Arsenal, so I should have used my G when we first came in here to keep her from setting up, but honestly, she might have still been setting up, so I'll take it. I'm going the wrong way here, but maybe he's over here. I'm being the bad Jan that splits off on her own. Don't get grabbed. Don't be that guy. Okay, we're fine. Clear this over here. Help out our team. I mean, she seems like she might be busy with everyone else over there anyway. I'm going to try to group back up with them. And Oh, oh I found Very Yorick. Well. You have found it. I found him. Do what you must. Oh boy, he's angry. He's angry. Come here, Yorick. I completely disagree with chasing at me. Man, he has a lot of health. Oh, he's going into the spawn. Did you try to be sneaky and it didn't work out? Here we go. I don't want the objective because I want to keep on cams. I gotta protect over the top. Time to stop you. Like this. Hey, okay, now she can't get you. me. Or her. Keep moving, keep doing objectives. Is Becca following me? Yes, she is. Objective right here. I whiffed right away. Keep it moving, don't bite me. Woo! Let's roll. Oh, and our whole team's shooting cams, which makes it even tougher for Annette. If you get a whole team that's shooting, honestly, I don't know what you do sometimes. That's one of the best things you can do. If you have a Jan on your team, help her shoot cams, and then, uh-oh. Oh, and then it gets even more difficult. We must put an I gotta move. To this keep it going, keep it going. I'm gonna go in here. Hopefully she doesn't get grabbed and I have to help her, but I need more ammo. So I'm gonna go for that right now. I'm gonna grab some ammo, here we go. And I should be good to go for at least a little while here. Stunning Birkin. He's super close though, isn't he? I don't really wanna... Like a bit here. Okay, she got bit. Shoot in the head a few times. Okay, good. Ooh, somebody's getting the squeeze, huh? There you go. Martin's on it. We got a good team right now. We got a real good team. We just got to get away now. Really what she should be doing with Birkin is kind of giving up. She should cancel him out so she can recover and get us on a better jump later because we're too spread out. We're already taking advantage of it. What's going on here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, good squeeze. Okay, I'm going to help. Here we go. Everything's fine. We got out of that. Out of that real easy, actually. Is he dying? He's dead. EMP. Make their life hard so they can't pop on us here. I'm going to take this out because she's shooting at Becca. Good to go. And now this is going to be where I'm going to lock down on it. Just to really make sure. Oh, she's casting somewhere else. Either way, I'm going to make sure she can't shoot right here. You see how that resets? That's a really nice trick that Jan has. Oh, there's a camera right here. I'm a doof. Now there's going to be one over here. Down my way. Easy. And now she can't beat us up over here. Really got to get team over here, though. What's Martin up to? She's just casting more in here, probably from a recovered camera. Martin's stuck in a trap. Yeah, he is. I'm gonna help him out over the top, get some easy seconds for the team. She's gonna come back over here. This still has a recovery, but now we can go to it. Easy. That's how you play Jan. You just keep on him. You got him. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating for her, and I feel kind of bad. But she's trying to pull tricks on us, and she doesn't have them. Really what Annette needs is she needs to get infectious from I am surprised Alex, this far. region from Daniel, and pro she probably energy boost strategy. from Spencer. Um, mm, I gotta buy ammo so I keep doing my job. Minigun sucks. 
at doing that. I kind of want to get another grenade in case things go wrong, so I'm going to buy a Molotov. And I guess this is what we're going to roll with. I want to be able to help my team somehow with grenades. And this is what we got. So we're doing it. Can't let her load up. Oh boy, here comes the detonators. That's going to hurt. I whipped. Yep, I died. Somebody had to go out first, and it was me. You can throw grenades through that initial area. Through this little door. You can do that, and sometimes it'll help you if they're really gooped up on the door. Maybe I should have, but I kind of wanted to save it because the way it now works, she's going to goop up in other places. She's going to keep doing it. Martin's looking a little poisoned here for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, wow, nice heal. Okay, well, if nothing else, this gives us time to go ahead and recover here. Yeah, I'm the poisoned one. I don't really get why Martin looks that way. Looking like a little zombie. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this infection spray because I have it. And anything else you got to get ready here? Oh, we're good to go. There we go. I think I saw a cam up here now. Oh, wow, dog's on me. Okay. Thanks, Becca. Okay, we gotta go up. I'm gonna put this here in case she's trying to set up for us up here. Just keep popping that EMP. Like, there's a few times to be strategic with it, but honestly, you just wanna keep doing it. I'm gonna take this out from a distance. Quick try, ain't ever gonna get that done. Where else can she cam on us here? Right here. Damn, here he comes. Okay, we just gotta watch out here. He's swinging and swinging. Trying to be okay with my ammo here. One thing that the net's really good at, and if you're gonna try to play to her strengths, is you wanna exhaust people. And what I mean by that is just use up all their resources. If you get monsters that are really tanky, or you just get a lot of them, you know what you gotta do? You gotta beat them up. Honestly, the bat on Becca is probably a good choice. But if you're doing that, it makes it so... Oh, Mikey. Okay, he's still coming. He's still coming. He's still coming. He's still coming. We have a box over here, and I'm thinking about it. Oh, boy. Here he comes. Oh, he's grabbing me. There you go, Becca. Easy opportunity, right? There you go. Start to grab at us. We were grouped up. Should have swung at us. Yep, should have done a little bit more of that. Put some crowd control on us. Okay, now he's down. I don't know if he gave up or what he did, but I'm going to go ahead and herb up. I have to manually herb the way I'm set up right now. I'm going to go ahead and pop, 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 pop. Come on. There you go. Now they're taking that out over there. This room kind of sucks not having a brawler. I'm trying to help over the top here. Anything else? Get some time back on, from the camps here. Ooh, hand grenade. Well, somebody picked it up. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, let's go to the other area over here. I'm just going to keep watching cams. You got to look down a lot when you play this game, but if you're Jan, you got to look up. There we go. Now, this just might be, like, one of the few cams that you can really get on us here. I'm looking around. I don't really see anywhere else. He must just be trying to keep sound of you. I'm going to make sure he can't come back here. He tried to recover, but then I went ahead and reset him. But I will not stand idly by. Let me get that going again. It'll just give her less time to go ahead and set up on us here. Now, she's got an immune camera for a little bit. But this could have been like three zombies, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't do anything because it's immune right now. Oh my god, keep pushing me around, why don't you? All right, I'm going to get on here. EMP. Make their life harder. So she's pushing us down here. Who supply zombies up there? We want... She's pushing us down here, but... I also use the EMP so she can't set up. Now, I have really nothing to shoot back with, which really sucks. Are they going to the safe area? No, they just went to the wrong area. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was over here. Maybe I went to the wrong area. I'm gonna try to kill this guy. My 12 bullets that I have. There we go. So I got nothing to use right now. Use this. You are only Ooh, delayed baby. The end. Well, got what I needed to finish this out. Let's roll. So I got a minigun. Honestly, I think they're going to take care of it over there. Yeah, they'll be just fine. Minigun really sucks at going against cameras, but we're going to try it anyway. 
just gonna try to open this up for everyone. Do you see how much of a waste it is? It's way better at doing other things. Okay, let's just try to get to the exit over here. Now, I've played against the Nets before, and they recover real good, so I'm gonna go... Oh. Yep, that's why. I gotta be careful. I'm moving. They got the door open. Help! Apparently mine wasn't good enough. I'm gonna try to take out some of the fluff here. Does it come back to haunt us later? Ooh, the leg! Uh-oh, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. Team's doing really well. But suddenly she's lagging, how convenient! Oh my god, I can't tell what's going on because everyone's stuttering. How convenient, Mastermind, for you to start lagging right now! Oh my god, the machine's not even moving. This is gonna be such a snap. This is terrible. Dedicated servers, please. I can't turn it on. Here we go. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't touch it. I'm trying to... Throttle your internet harder, why don't you? Game's been fine all match, and now suddenly... We can't do anything. Everything's a big stutter fest. Oh, I'm having flashbacks. This is only a short reprieve. Last time I had to... Oh, boy. Okay. so laggy okay mastermind you're a dick i know that's what this is there ain't no way in hell that we were fine all match and now suddenly i can't even move and hopefully they keep clearing. Sick of this nonsense. Run to the exit, let's just go. Hopefully this counts. I don't know about you, chap, but if there's ever been a time where I thought something was suspicious, it was right there. I'm angry what about how suspicious thinking? that was. This game does peer-to-peer -peer well, connections, which means it goes off of the host connection. And we were fine the whole time. And then suddenly at the end, we weren't. We'll see. Who knows? Game needs dedicated servers. The game's too good not to have dedicated servers. I hope they end up making it a thing. Capcom, please, please, please. But this was how to play Jan. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. We went against an Annette that was rank 18, but she didn't have all the things that make her really, really good. If you're going to play Annette, make sure you get a bunch of enhancers on her. Level up your other masterminds, and that's how you make all of your masterminds better. And yeah, we, ended up, we actually ended up getting saved at the end by Arsenal. I wouldn't have been able to have the firepower to bust through that because she was loading up the exit. So what I did was I bought some grenades, but even then I wouldn't have had enough. So the grenade launcher at the end really helped me push through. So it worked out pretty good. Arsenal was definitely a game changer at the end there for me. So I showed you how to be really good against cameras with Jan. If everyone works on cams, everyone has EMP rounds. The cameras don't stand a chance. The mastermind doesn't stand a chance. Go ahead and help out your Jan and you're really just gonna constantly stomp. I bet your win rate's gonna skyrocket if you start doing that, okay? So thank you guys very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this EMP build for Jan, the Jan you carry, as I like to call it. We stream every night at twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Around 10 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. We start a little bit earlier on YouTube, and then we have a good night all night. And then I'll see you guys around. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.